What's up everybody, Fritz here. Are you sick and tired of these dated and dainty headlight halogen housings from BMW that barely even light up the road? Well, in today's video, we're upgrading to the projector style with LED angel eyes, and we're even installing a set of LED bulbs from halogen. Let's get into the video. So the trifecta of hood, bumper, and headlight damage are all hallmarks of a front-end collision. And if you're looking to pick up an F30 with any of these kinds of damages, take a deeper dive in that area when you're doing your inspection to determine whether or not there's any structural damage and whether or not it's worth your time, as we did with this F30. And the used market has a plethora of genuine BMW parts, like the hood and the bumper, which is how we got these. The only thing that we're now going OEM with are these dated headlights and the reason why is because they give poor visibility especially at night and they look terrible so we're going to the upgraded version that is a projector style with the led angel eyes substituting for the daylight running light that we have in the f30 not only that we're going to upgrade the bulbs to the led versions and we're really going to figure out whether it's the actual headlight housing or the bulb that goes in the housing that makes the most impact when increasing visibility so let's get these headlights into the f30 and figure it out together let's start by removing the bumper which is held in by two eight millimeter screws and a push rivet in each wheel well liner two long eight millimeter screws that join the fender and bumper. And don't forget to disconnect the fog lights. At the bottom, we have more of those eight millimeter screws. And lastly, we have to remove the weather stripping to reveal the T25 and T30 screws that hold in the top of the bumper. Now we can finally remove the bumper and place it off to the side. So as you can see, we are missing a few things on this F30, like the crash foam, as well as the brake ducts. So I'm gonna throw these on real quick and then we'll remove the headlights. Now that's much better and much safer. To remove the headlights, we have to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts. One is on the top and the other can be found behind the fender headlight panel. We also have two T30 screws, which can be found through that same panel. As you remove the last screw, Ensure you're supporting your headlight so you can disconnect it and place it safely off to the side. After removing both headlights, I found removing the T30 screws first and the top 10 millimeter bolt last was the easiest order. With both headlights out, transfer over the hardware from the previous headlights to the new ones. Right now is the perfect time for us to place in our LED bulbs in exchange for the halogen low beams. But we should also test out the actual new headlights to make sure that the high beams, low beams, and turn signals are all working. And if they are, then we can proceed with the rest of the installation. But I don't wanna ruin the surprise for you. So hang on to the end and we'll actually compare all of the different light versions, the OEM one, with the halogen ones in these headlights, as well as the LED bulbs in these exact same headlights. This part that goes on the bottom of the headlight is actually what tilts the bottom of the headlight up and forward. I found it's actually best to have this fully extended. With the hardware in, let's reconnect the headlights and place in the 10 millimeter bolts first this will hold in the headlights as we screw in the T30s, which are a bit tougher. When screwing in the two bottom T30 screws, you have to prevent the adjuster from closing. To accomplish this, just wedge your finger 
in between the threads to prevent them from closing. This is probably the hardest part with the inner T30 presenting a bit more of a challenge. So just take your time here. Now we can bring in the bumper and be sure to use an upward scooping motion to ensure we don't scratch the fenders. Then insert the bumper in the lower headlight trim and below the ender panel slide into the S clamps. Also under the headlight tab here. Loosely apply the top screws so you can align the bumper. If you're unsure on how to do this, click the link in the top right hand corner. Remember to plug in those fog lights and long eight millimeter screws that join the bumper and fender. While we're in the wheel well, let's put back in that push rivet and eight millimeter screws. Then repeat this on the opposite side. Moving to the bottom is just those short 8mm screws. Once the bumper is aligned, we have a centering dot on the back of the weather stripping. And now once that's applied, you can enjoy the upgraded aesthetics and improved lighting of projector headlights with angel eyes on your BMW. What do you guys think? Are doing the headlights a necessary upgrade? And if they are, are doing the LEDs overkill? Let me know your opinions and any questions that you have down in the comment section below. And if you're looking to pick up your own set of headlights or LED bulbs, it's gonna be down in the description links. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see all of you in the next one.